We continue our student athletes from Creighton University, which is to be found in Omaha, Nebraska. Marcus Foster, Kyrie Thomas, and Cole Huff. Uh, questions encouraged, but please uh, give your name and affiliation to help out our transcribers up front. So, uh, fellas, I'll, I'll ask the first question myself. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about your season as a whole and uh, coming out here to Sacramento. Um, obviously, we got off to a really good start. Um, I think we got as far as number seven in the nation uh, before a few things didn't go our way um, with injuries and, you know, a, a couple of close losses. And, you know, from then our season has been kind of up and down. But um, unlike last year, I think we finished the, the regular season on a positive note. Uh, we went to the, the Big East tournament in the Madison Square Garden. And uh, we got to the championship game. Unfortunately, we came up a little bit short. But I think we're, we're kind of riding a little bit of momentum right now. And, you know, we're, we're looking forward to continuing our success in the tournament. Kyrie? Uh, I would have to say Cole hit it right on the nail. Uh, momentum was going our way in the beginning of the season as we were ranked uh, number seven. Uh, then we uh, lost Maurice uh, to the ACL injury, which kind of uh, made everybody uh, sit back and, uh, you know, kind of really just embrace that, uh, made everybody else get better. Um, and then uh, after that, we came to a, a couple close losses. Um, and then after that, uh, we uh, went on a run in the tournament, lost to Villanova. Uh, but right now, we just uh, kind of went past that, got a nice little uh, seed in the, uh, in the tournament, and uh, we're just uh, ready to play. And uh, the guys are just kind of amped up right now. Marcus? Yeah, we, we got off to a really great start. You know, team people were talking about we were a great Final Four contender. And, you know, when Maurice went down, he was our leader, our vocal leader. He played hard on defense. He got teammates going. So it was kind of hard for us when we lost him. And we had to reinvent ourselves, which made us start playing up and down. We couldn't really get a rhythm. But I think last week in New York in the Big East uh, tournament, we really found out the team we were. We, we figured out how to, you know, pull all the pieces together. Even though we didn't finish that strong in the championship game, I think we learned a lot about ourselves that can carry us further in this tournament. Questions for our student athletes? Please wait on the mics. Thank you. Ken Corbett from Topeka Capital Journal for Marcus. Can you just kind of summarize the journey you've taken from, from your time at Kansas State to Creighton and maybe how you've grown and grown and changed over these past two years? Uh, yeah, I had to face a little bit of adversity with you know the circumstances I had at Kansas State and having to transfer to another school and you know, taking a year off is something I've never done in my whole career. So I had to reinvent myself and I really just had to mature, you know, become a better teammate, better person on and off the court for my teammates. With with that time off I, in the year I had, it made me become a better person. Hey, Marcus, Kellis Rubinan here from the Wichita Eagle. Good to see you again. Um, now that you've had some, you know, time to transfer and reflect on things, when, when you think back to that last season at Kansas State when it started off and you said that team had Final Four talent and then you end up winning, I think, 15 games. What what just went wrong that year now that you think back to it? Uh, I just I just think that team we just wasn't, you know, in it for each other. You know, I think we all had our individual mindsets of what we wanted to do and what we want to accomplish. You know, the, the talent was definitely there on that team. I just didn't think we bring, brought it together as a team standpoint. It's for Cole, uh, Mark Wicker from the Los Angeles Daily News. How, how soon did you realize how good Patton was going to be? I know he, he had kind of a uh, meteoric uh, rise when he, when he got to Creighton. What was it like watching him in preseason practice and then watching him on the floor? Well, it was, it was hard to tell during preseason because we had a bunch of injuries. Uh, I wasn't always out there. Zach Hansen was recovering from injury. Uh, Toby was dealing with his, with his ankle. And Martin was recovering from ACL injury. So he was really the only big man for a long time, and he was pretty dominant. We had smaller guys on him and whatnot. Um, but I mean, just going back to last year, his redshirt season, how hard he worked, and you know, for the skill set that he has at such a, a tall, a tall guy being seven foot. I mean, it's it was obvious to see that the sky was the limit for him. Um, I'd be lying if I tell you I wasn't a little bit surprised when the season started, just how quickly he put it all together. And you know, since we got the ball rolling, I think he's just kept building his confidence and. I mean, he's playing great basketball, and the sky's the limit for him. Oh, 
Riley Gates, GoPowerCat.com. Marcus, when you look at the South region, just how tough is it? I mean, it seems like every team, 1 to 16, just has, has some sort of a threat and could easily find themselves in the Final Four. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of competition out there, but, you know, it's the NCAA tournament. You know, this is the time of the year where everybody's going to be playing their best basketball. So it's really everybody in the tournament is going to be a great team no matter what region you're in. So you got to be prepared and be ready to play every night. Marcus, what's been your favorite thing about playing at Creighton this year? Uh, I'd say the, the team atmosphere, the family atmosphere that we have on this team. You know, guys really love each other, and you see it on the court. You know, team, we're playing hard, not for just ourselves, but for our teammates and our coaching staffs. And then when you have a fan base like us, you, you love to play on the court and, you know, make our fans proud when they see how good we're playing. Any other questions? Okay, thank you, gentlemen.